Hi all my beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special guest. We can see her little head there. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello my baby? Come on, you can say hello. Come on. Look, who's that? Look! Who's that? Who's that? Say hello. Say hello. Oh, there she is. Oh my goodness, so many kisses! Kisses, kisses, kisses! Oh no, no more kisses. Oh, she's had enough. Oh, she's had enough. Oh, this is my baby, Luna. Luna, please say hello. Do not be rude. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Hi! Hi, she's like, nope. I've had enough of all my treats. Basically, her treats are right there. Should we give her one? Let's give her one. Okay, sit. Sit. No. Sit. No. Good girl. She's being very well behaved at the moment. The only problem is her biting, which we will sort out. Here you go. That's a good girl. You get a true bit on the channel. Oh, well done. But guys, this is Luna. She's three months old. She is very heavy, a bit chubby. You know, the belly is getting there. And yeah, we love her so much. But yeah, she's three months. We've had her for about three weeks now and she's getting very big but today's video is kind of puppy essentials and if you're getting a puppy or if you're considering it then I'm going to tell you what you guys need or what you, should, you guys should consider getting and um, we don't have to but it's just what we've gotten for this little child so the first thing essential that we give Luna is this thing here which she loves so it's this treat here um, we got this off Amazon I'll try to leave the link down below uh, this costs like $8.99 I think and my sister's the one that found it and it's actually by this family who made this treat and it's poultry potato and gravy and it's just really healthy for them but like, there's no sh there's no like grain which apparently is quite bad for dogs um it's good for puppies and you can give them quite a lot sorry someone's getting impatient what's going to floor go on oh my goodness that stretch oh my oh hell um, yeah, you can give them a lot and it's good to train them. We've been using it quite a lot to train her and it's been really paying off as well. What's wrong? Anyways, that's what I was saying. She really likes them and there's quite a lot in them. They're quite little, so maybe, um, I think it says you need to wait till your puppies um 16 weeks but then the reviews on it said that you can give them up to 10 weeks and she's 10 weeks old so they're really good but if they're really really young then don't give it to them because all their teeth need to like, at least some of their teeth need to be out because they are really small you don't want them to choke on it so just keep that in mind i'm um, very sorry here noise in the background luna just is a bundle of excitement and joy so she cannot stay still and she's had her nap time next essential is um these wipes these literally, like you have to, you guys have to just get these. They're wipes and they smell very nice. These are multi-purpose ones. You can get some for the eyes, like specifically for the eyes. But I don't see the point because these are not treats, honey. These aren't treats. These are your wipes. Because you're smelly. You're stinky. Yeah, you stink. I'm joking. She smells very nice. Um... But yeah, I definitely recommend these. These say that like, multi-purpose, so it cleans pets' face, ears, body, eye area, wipes away dirty odors, deodorizing, conditioning, gentle and easy to use. There's 80 wipes in there, and they were quite, they weren't expensive actually, and I got two of these, and they have lasted me quite a while. I do use them quite a lot. I use them every day, I think. I use a few. Every time I take her out, I just wipe her paws. Every time she pees, I wipe or poops, I wipe the bum area and down there and all that. You know, just to get her smelling. Oh my god, I think she just went in the cupboard. Luna? Luna? Where's my baby? Luna? 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 There she is! There she is! <laughs> oh, I love you. No! But yeah, I don't recommend these. I think if you have cats as well, they do have some cats one. Um, yeah, so these are lifesaver because... Even when she goes outside, she just always gets, like, grass on her and she, like, gets all the mud on her and stuff. And it smells really nice. So, yeah, I definitely recommend. And the next thing that I recommend, which I don't have with me just because upstairs and someone's in the bathroom, is um, a baby shampoo. So, 
shampoo for puppies and it literally smells like baby powder like talc um it smells so nice and i'm gonna insert a picture and i'm gonna put it in the description box below i got it from amazon they i don't know if it'll be in stock still because i they were out of stock of it for quite a while and for some reason one day i randomly went on amazon and i checked and they had some and i got it it's, it is 15 pounds which is on the pricey side but honestly it smells so nice and it stays for quite a while um so i recommend that i'll put a picture or I'll insert in the description box below so yeah that's for your puppies to smell very nice and beautiful because we don't want them to stink because we don't like stinky bums do we luna no we don't oh my goodness okay so next thing okay then the next thing i'd like to recommend are a bunch of toys with this this is like simple things like that like squeak we got these from pets at home um they have so many toys there we got some from tesco you can get some from asda literally as many toys as you can because they will get bored of one toy like luna gets bored of most of her toys um so she likes to play with plastic bottles now because clearly spending money on loads of toys is not good enough for her she wants plastic bottles so it's okay um literally i'm looking at my living right now we've got three plastic bottles on the floor and she likes my slippers she ripped apart my slippers yeah yeah you did that you did that isn't it luna you ripped my slippers look look she's taking it right now yeah oh hell so yeah many many toys because they love that I don't know what she's doing right now. Yep, okay. Okay, so next thing I got, which I got this on the day that we went um, to get her, I got these Advantage flea treatments. They're just like that. And your puppy will get, well, not will. Why is that not focusing? There is a chance that your puppy can get um, fleas. They need to be prepared for that. Um, especially if you have cats as well or if they come from a different home it is something you need to be prepared for so i would say get some flea treatment and these work really well like these got rid of all her fleas and also we got a flea bomb so once you put the flea treatment on them the fleas are going to die and kind of fall off of her and there will be fleas around your house so you need to put a flea bomb when no one is around the house and it kind of kills all the fleas that are in the house and then you just have to clean everything hoover everything and we had to do that um i was trying to see a find a picture of the one my sister used to use for when we had lily and the one um we used for our cats I'll try find that one because the one we got is was very I just found it very dangerous I, I did not like it the one my sister got is just you kind of just I think you just press something and then it kind of goes in the air and just stay to, in the room but the one I use you have to light it on fire and this thing melts and this thing smelt of burning I thought that was it I thought that you know we were gonna die you know I was kind of saying my goodbyes and it's, it's just very dangerous i will put it in the description box if you guys want it and i'll put a picture but i would not recommend it it did work it even killed some flies in the house but i would say maybe not because it is quite dangerous and you need to put a metal surface underneath as well and you need to put it on the floor but if you have carpet that can burn like even a little bit goes on carpet it can burn and we don't want our houses on fire you know so there you go so yeah, big treatment. And the next thing we got for Luna is this little jacket. Is it so cute? Look at that! Oh my goodness! Uh, we got that for her, but when she, when we got her, she was too small to fit in it. I think right now she's about the size that would fit in this. But basically, this child is very um, how do you say? Luxurious. You know, she doesn't she doesn't like these kind of stuff. She's very picky. She does not want to put it on. She tries to bite it off, and you know, just to pain in the backside. So yeah. But I do recommend it because she does get cold. And now it's not cold anymore. But when we went to get her, she was literally shaking because it was so cold outside. That's why I got this. But then when I put it on her, she didn't want to put it on because it was quite baggy. And now it's hot, so there's no point putting it on her. So now I've just got a random jacket that's not going to fit her in a couple of weeks because she grows so damn fast. But yeah, I would recommend it if you, if you do get a dog in the winter. Because they will get cold and we don't want them to get sick. So... This was quite cheap as well, and if you sign up for the VIP things, it's not sponsored or anything, but they have this VIP thing that you sign up for and you get discounts on it. I think I got like 15% off of this, which was really good. Okay, so the next thing I got is from Pets at Home. I pretty much got all my stuff from Pets at Home because they just have so much and they have everything you need and they're 
quite good for price certain things maybe not good for price which I'll show you soon but some things they were good for price um, so this is her dog food it's called Ava the brand is Ava and obviously it says for large dog breeds because she's a Labrador um, meaning she will get very big and this one we asked some people there and they said it was really good because it's hypoallergenic hypo no you can't have any ha Yo, Luna you just had your lunch it basically has everything you need for um, a healthy puppy and it's not unhealthy or anything and it's not fattening things in it or anything um, and it helps with digestions um, a lot of dogs have problems with digestion so this is really good for them as well um, and it is veterinary approved so yeah I would this is what we use obviously do your research on it don't go for this if you just because I'm saying so but this she likes this so okay next one I got for pets at home as well are training pads okay so yeah these puppy pads are literally if you're gonna get a puppy you just have to have training pads because it is the way that they don't pee in your house and they don't pee on the carpet on the floor um, and you need to train them to be able to pee somewhere so that eventually they'll start to learn to pee outside which is what she's starting to learn to do she starts to cry when she wants to go outside to pee or poop um, but then now and then she can't hold it and she'll pee on the mats so yeah these are a hundred by the way these have a hundred in it and for, I got two of them and I paid like 14 pounds I think for two of them 16 pounds something something like that I can't remember but then on online they say, they're so expensive for 100 packs whereas these ones they're for puppy ones and they're really good they absorb everything and they're so much cheaper so yeah definitely get the 100 ones they do have the smaller ones with 30 in it which is what I started to get because I didn't know the 100 existed um, because I don't think they had it in stock when I went but then when I went again they had it and I got two packs because um, I think once these two packs are finished she's going to have to stop I think eventually she's going to have to stop on the training pad she's going to have to start only going outside um, and she's been good with it so I feel like it's, it's going to be an easy transition okay next essential is a collar you know we need a collar because you're going to have to take them out on walks sorry I keep looking there she's just I'm um, just you know but yeah, you're going to have to need a collar and you do have to tr maybe try it on when you go, when you bring your puppy in. Because we got one originally and it didn't fit her. Um, and then this one fit her perfectly. But we're on the last, we're on the last um, little hole guys. Which means soon I'm going to have to get another one that's bigger for her neck. Because she's getting big so damn fast. But I just got this little one. Very cute, very simple, you know. Bit of bedazzle in there. And then we got her... So my phone number's on there. We got her this. And it just says her name on it. The lady at the Pets at Home place did say to not put your phone numbers on it. Um, and to only put your address. But then I didn't really want to put my address on there. Um, I was kind of like, if your phone number's on there, surely they'll call you and you can give your address. As, as opposed to just putting your address on there. So I don't know. It's up to you guys. But I just put my phone number, my mom's phone number, my brother's phone number and Eric's phone number. Just four phone numbers, you know. Does this one's not enough, you know? Just put four. We can literally put whatever you want in it. And I think I paid like seven pounds or ten pounds for this um, for the tag, which was really good to be honest. And then obviously a leash. I would recommend getting the ones where you can adjust. There's like a little adjustment on there. Um, but I feel like once she gets bigger, this is not going to hold her back. So I would get a thicker one. Um, but just for now, this works perfectly, especially for a puppy, I would definitely recommend this. Because you can adjust it, so that sometimes if you're on a big field, you can let them kind of run free. Um, and she loves it, to be honest, so... You just need to understand, like, before you use it, you do need to get used to it. Because in the beginning, I was kind of going back and forth, and sometimes it get long, and I'd start panicking. But yeah, just get used to it, and then start using it. Because you don't want any accidents, okay? Okay, what's next? This is her bed, guys. Ugh. Can you guys see that? That's her bed. She She's looking at me like, what the hell are you doing in my bed? That's her bed. I think it's the size large. It comes bigger. It goes an extra large. But I feel like that would be big enough for when she's um, small now and when she's bigger. Come here. Look, guys. She's buying her jacket right now. Look at her. Look at, look at her. She does not like this jacket. Do you not like it? Your mommy bought it for you and you don't like it. Oh my goodness. Um, 
But yeah, that bed's literally really good. Sometimes she likes sleeping on the floor, but I feel like that's just a puppy thing. When she gets bigger, I hope she kind of sleeps in that bed because it was like £35, and I think that's really pricey for a bed, like a dog bed. Um, and the bigger ones were like £40. On Amazon, they were £60. Even in Pets at Home, they were £60. And I'm like, it's literally just a cushion bed for your dog. Why are you charging so much for it? But yeah, that one's really nice. It's really comfy, and you can clean it as well. There's like um, the thing that they sleep on, you can take it out and put it in to wash. So I feel like that's really nice. You know, it's very convenient. It doesn't. It does get quite dirty because they sleep in it, but you can just put it in a wash, and you can hoover in it as well. And it's just really nice. It's really nice looking and fits with the aesthetic of the house. And yeah. Um, sorry guys, I'm going really quick just because this little one is getting very impatient. And yeah, um, I think I've gone through everything that we need for these little babies um in general i would say definitely get your dogs microchipped i did mine in pets at home as well um it's just in case your dog gets lost or stolen or anything you can kind of track them and stuff like that um yeah make sure you get them fleed microchipped all the all the stuff that you need to do in the beginning get them vaccinated if you don't get them vaccinated you can't take them out uh, she's had her two vaccinations so far she has to go for one more like a kind of top up one and then she'll be sorted but she has gone out she's gone on her walks she's very good she's very patient and yeah she's a good girl she's a very good girl aren't you aren't you a good girl i say that as she's eating her clothes right now can you can you just be good in front of me can you not just be good in front of the camera huh i'm saying how good you are okay we're gonna say bye now say bye she back oh she wants her she wants a jacket to eat on but yeah guys that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed um oh yeah i'm just looking at this now but don't forget a dog bowl for food and for water just saying i completely forgot about that but you know it's okay um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little video i hope you know i've liked the new member of our family you'll be seeing her a lot from now on luna can you just stay still can you just stay still please can you just stay still um so yeah let me know if you guys have a puppy if you're planning on getting one i hope this video was useful just because when i was looking for videos there weren't really many um so i hope it can benefit you all and yeah we'll see you in the next video isn't it we'll see you the next time say bye bye 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 she's like bye 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 say we love you Oh my goodness, kisses! Oh.